Let's talk about the double L sound in Spanish. So, you know, it's called ELLE, ELLE. A one L is called ELLE, ELLE, but two L's is called ELLE. In Spanish, your tongue is, when you do a one single L, your tongue should be really rigid and on the roof of your mouth. Hola, o, eh. I put it up on the roof of my mouth and it should be really firm. That's why you don't want to say hola, hola. It makes your pronunciation really bad. You want to put it up on the roof of your mouth. Hola. And now it'll make sense too. You think when you hear like a Spanish speaking person, Spanish speaker speaking English and they say hello, hello. They don't pronounce the H and they're pronouncing the L like in Spanish. So when so practice Spanish, a single L, put the tongue on the roof of your mouth and not all the way up on the roof of the mouth, but just on the on the palate and keep it really firm. Hola. Malo. So the double L makes basically like a Y sound, almost like the the same as the Y really in many countries, a Y like in the word yo, yo and pollo, it makes the same sound. Uh, so, what's the issue? Well, I would say that of all the sounds in Spanish, this is the one that varies the most from country to country, and then sometimes even inside of a country, depending on the city, they might pronounce it differently. So, what are the... I recommend the most neutral way is to pronounce it the way I just pronounced it. That's what I've heard represented in most countries. Yo, for why, or um, ayer means yesterday, A-Y-E-R, ayer. I right? It's just a Y sound. The double L, pollo, calle. Street is C-A-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and that would be calle. So how, what are the other ways that you might hear it? Well, the Spaniards definitely look down on this because the Spaniards pronounce the double L. Ah, and a few pockets throughout Latin America, too. A few areas in a few cities, and even the ones that I've lived in, like Bogota, Colombia, the capital, and as some people in Arequipa in Peru, they will pronounce the double L the way they do in Spain, which kind of sounds like um, the sound that we have in million, where the L meets the Y the L and the I, million, it's like an L and a Y right there, they'll pronounce the double L like that. So chicken would be pollo, pollo. I don't think I do it exactly the way they do it because I don't speak Spanish that way. Pollo and calle, calle for street. Uh, you'll hear that sometimes. So you'll hear more of this like L-Y sound. But in most, um, most of the, uh, most represented throughout Latin America, you're going to hear it just like a Y. So you're perfectly fine saying it like that. Yo for Y and pollo for the double L. And I think you should even practice saying it with some of these other pronunciations because it will help you to be prepared when you hear it that way. Otherwise, it'll just throw you off and you say, what, what are they saying? I don't even recognize that word. Okay, so the Y or the double L can sound like our J sound in English. J. So you'll hear for I, yo, you'll hear jo. Yo instead of yo. And see, so I remember when I was learning Spanish, someone was speaking to me in Spanish and they kept saying yo, yo, yo. And I'm listening, trying to follow the conversation, and I'm thinking, who in the world is Joe? <laughs> and they were just saying, I, yo. Uh, you know, they were pointing to themselves. So it was really throwing me off. But because I didn't expect that sound, not for it to be so strong, and they definitely didn't teach us that in our Spanish class. That's why I'm telling you. Um, because, yeah, you'll hear the Y. So yesterday, ayer would be pronounced ayer. Ayer. So some people will say ayer. Other, people's, other people will say ayer. Yo. And they do the same thing with the double L in chicken. Not pollo, but pollo. Not for street, calle. Instead of calle, they'll say calle. Kaije. I've even been corrected by people. I lived in cities where everyone said it that way, and they would even correct me. Uh, I would say Kaije, and they would say, no, 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 Kaije. They would correct my pronunciation. But many places in the Spanish-speaking world, they say Kaije. Okay, so that's the J sound you might hear for that. And then the one that I've heard, uh, I've never, I've heard it, but I've never lived in a country where they say it this way. You'll hear this in Argentina and in Uruguay, Uruguay. They say, they pronounce it like our, um, not 100% sure, it's like our SH, but also like zh, like 
the sound in measure or treasure. So, uh, so you might hear something like instead of yo for I, you'll hear jo or sho. I don't know which one it is exactly, but it comes out like an sh sound or a z sound. And then chicken instead of being pollo would be pojo, pojo. So it could be this z sound. That's only I really only heard that in from Argentinians and Uruguayans. So those are all the sounds that you might hear from the the double L. I recommend doing just the Y sound for both, unless you're going to live in Spain. If you're going to live in Spain, or I guess if you live in yeah, yeah, because even in Bogota in Colombia and in Arequipa in Peru, uh, most people pronounced it like a Y. It's a small number of people. And the ones who pronounce it that way, they'll usually want to correct you and say, no, you, you should differentiate between the Y and the L. Meanwhile, millions and millions and millions of Spanish speakers don't differentiate. They just pronounce them both like a Y. And you're perfectly fine saying that way. Yo como pollo. I eat chicken. You can say both the Y and the L the same way. So practice that. Uh, stick with it. Uh, read out loud every day. And if you put it into practice, you'll see how natural it becomes.